Good morning, everybody. Randy with Rashley's Barbecue. If you recall, we cooked some fajitas, not the pinwheels. We cooked the fajitas with the uh, dos pendejos seasoning. Well, we've got some leftover fajitas. It's Sunday morning. I'm hanging out. What am I going to have for breakfast? I think I'm going to take those fajitas and make an omelet or maybe mix them in with some scrambled eggs. We'll see what happens. We'll get started. Yeah, no matter what we decide to do with them, the first step is going to be, of course, to cut up the fajitas. The grain's running this way, but we're going to dice them up into little small pieces so it doesn't really matter which way we start our cut. No matter whether we do scrambled eggs or an omelet, onion's always a good option. Everybody else is still asleep and they don't like bell pepper, so I'm just going to make one for me with a little bit of a chopped up bell pepper. We got two eggs here. Toss in a splash of milk. Beat them and get ready. Melt a couple of pats of butter in there. That's just a little piece of fajita, don't worry. Two might have been too much there, but hey, first off, disclaimer, I'm not an omelet expert. I barbecue mostly. Just a touch of oil to keep the butter from burning. Ooh, that's too much. It'll live though, I'll live. I'm gonna give the eggs another mix real quick. I'm an over easy kind of guy, so I don't care if there's a little runny in my eggs, but uh, we'll kind of lift the edge and let some of the runny egg get underneath. Fajitas, onions, bell pepper, not too much, and cheese. This is just some shredded cheddar cheese. Get it turned so whenever I slide it out of the pan, I can fold the top over on it. 
that's done enough for me. So now I'm just going to slide out about half of it and flip the rest over on top. Let it melt. There you go. We'll even add a little cheese on top. Good enough for me. Yeah, I broke the top a little bit whenever I folded it, but like I say, I'm not an omelet expert. Last, we're going to add a little bit of this Chupaquin hot sauce. This is good stuff. Made by those gringos. It's got a pretty good bite to it, so we're not going to add too much. All right, let's get a bite. Mm. Very good. Man, those fajitas just go so good in an omelet. Bell pepper, I love bell pepper in an omelet, onions. If I had to do it all over again though, I think I would have sauteed my onions and bell pepper a little bit, softened them up just a touch. They're still pretty crunchy. Well, they're very crunchy because obviously they don't cook much when you add them to the omelet. Uh, the heat in the omelet was enough to melt the cheese. That's a good thing. The flavor of the seasoning that we used on the fajitos, which was the Dos Pendejos uh, wiener rub. It's the wiener rub that they have that has the uh, mesquite flavoring in it. Very good. You can you can detect it there, but it's not overpowering to change the flavor of the omelet in a bad way. Overall, it's a pretty good omelet. Guys, thanks for joining me. We hope you all will come on back and, and, and join me again. I think I'm going to make some beans with uh, some ground chorizo in them. Thanks for joining us once again. We'll catch you later on down the road on Rashley's Border Q. Oh, before I go though, I gotta mention this chupacabra sauce, hot sauce. Absolutely awesome on this omelet. The flavor goes really good with it. Later on down the road, guys, adios from Rashley's Border Q.